good day. You're watching African Free Press Television. My name is Sam Adedwekou. We're bringing you the news today. First, the headlines. Troops recover another Chibok girl with child. Federal government chooses Kaduna as alternative after Abuja airport closure. Emo pensioners claim Okrocha is owing for 77 months. Play 2 APC chief are reigning for murder of Chinese and policeman. Trump objects as Obama releases Guantanamo Bay detainees. Now the news in detail. Nigerian troops of Operation Lafayette Dole during investigation of arrested suspected Boko Haram terrorists in Borno State have discovered one of the abducted Chibok school girls, Rekia Abubakar, with her six-month-old baby in Halagarno in Dambwa local government area of the state. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has expressed happiness over the recovery of Rekia Abubakar. The recovered school girl further stated that she was a student of senior secondary school class 3B before her abduction along with her colleagues on April 14, 2014 by the Boko Haram terrorists. The statement said Reiki Abaka is presently undergoing further medical investigation and will soon be released to the Bono state government. Meanwhile, President Mahmoud Bouhari has expressed happiness over the recovery of Reiki Abubaka and in a statement by a spokesman, he said that the recovery raises renewed hope that the other abducted girls will one day be united with their families, friends, and the community. The federal government has said the three airports close to Nambia Zikuwe International Airport, Abuja, do not meet the criteria set for alternative airports to Abuja. This did not go well with stakeholders in the aviation industry who expressed divergent views on the alternative airports and the total closure of the Abuja airport from March 8 to April 19, 2017. Minister of the State for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, during the stakeholders forum in Abuja yesterday, said three other airports close to Abuja, which are MENA airports of Niger State, Akubugowon Airport in Jos and Lori Airport in Kwa State, did not meet the criteria set by the federal government as alternative airports. Stating what necessitated the rehabilitation of Abuja Airport Runway, the minister recalled that the Abuja Runway was constructed in 1982, adding that it had overshot its design lifespan by 14 years, resulting in a number of distressed and filled portions of the runway. Pensioners in Imo State yesterday, 5th of January, protested the continued refusal by Governor Rochas Okorocha to pay them their pensions, which ranged between 22 and 77 months in arrears and gratuities, have remained unpaid since 1998 till date. Scores of pensioners, led by their state chairman, Chief Gideon Izeji, blocked Okigwe Road as well as the entrance of Government House Oweri. They urged President Mahmoud Buhari to call Okorochas to order. He behaves disrespectfully and treats senior citizens in the state deplorably, according to them. According to Ezeji as well, Okorochas derives joy in seeing elders in the state coming out from time to time into the streets to ask for their pension, saying the government should ask what Okorochas did with the bailout fund that President Mahmoud Buhari gave to him. They say they are protesting for the third time. But reacting to the allegation, the Imo state government said the issue of pensions in the state had been resolved, saying the people protested at the government house or worried yesterday were not pensioners, and challenged those involved to prove us wrong or to prove them wrong by publishing their names, their autonomous communities, local government areas, years of retirement, where they retired from, and their identification numbers. The Nasarawa State Police Command has arraigned the National Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress APC North Central Zone, Mr. Zachary Ide, before the State High Court in Lafia for allegedly being involved in the killing of a Chinese national, his police orderly, and two others. Ide was arraigned along nine others on Wednesday, but their plea could not be taken because the matter was not listed for mention. The police had earlier paraded before journalists other suspects in the murder, but Ide was not among them because he was on bail. The suspects were said to have ambushed and killed a Chinese miner and three others in Ugibi Hills in the Alugani area of Nasarawa, a local government of the state last year. The State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Abubakar Sadiq Bello, said to the press that Ide was among the prime suspects in the murder, hence his arraignment in court for murder. 
Operatives of the Nigerian police force were said to have raided the house of Dame Patience Jonathan, the wife of former President Goodluck Jonathan, in Abuja on Wednesday, 4th of January, with the aim of uncovering huge foreign currencies allegedly kept in the building. Sources explained that an informant had tipped the federal government about the alleged huge stolen cash hidden in the building and in three other different locations in the federal capital territory, Abuja. It was learned that the informant, who told the government about the cash in the Maitama property, had hinted that the suspect planned to move the money at any time. Following the intelligence report, the SIP operatives stormed the twin duplex on Wednesday but did not find any cash. The second duplex was also filled with cobwebs and contained four big security safes. All the four security safes were met open and in clean condition, according to the police report, indicating that they have been in use. Meanwhile, patient Jonathan's lawyer, Mr. Charles Oboli, described the allegations by the police that they had information of huge foreign currencies deposited in the house was unfounded. He argued that the raid was a malicious prosecution of the former first lady, adding that there was no huge safe in the family house. More reports be given about this issue as we continue. On the foreign scene, the outgoing U.S. President Barack Obama's administration announced on Thursday the transfer of four detainees from the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay to the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The action is against the directive of President-elect Donald Trump to the contrary. The Department of Defense, in a statement obtained by correspondents of the news agency of Nigeria in New York, gave the names of the detainees as Salem Ahmad Hadin bin Kanad, Mohammed Rajab Sadiq Abu Ghanim, Abdullah Yahya Yusuf al Sibili and Mohammed Ali Abdallah Muhammad Wazir. Trump had on Tuesday said there should be no more prisoners released from the U.S. military detention facility in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. According to Trump, these are extremely dangerous people and should not be allowed back into the battlefield. President Barack Obama had sought to close the prison since he entered office in 2009, but has been unable to carry out the plan in the face of opposition from Congress. That brings us to the end of the news today. My name is Sam Adidoy Kui. Thanks for watching.